Reddit's massive collaborative pixel art experiment r slash place came to an end recently after four days of an all out war on canvas. This time around, the experiment was bigger and better in just about every way compared to its 2017 counterpart, attracting millions of Redditors from every corner of the web to create a massive art piece filled with all kinds of iconic imagery, including logos, flags, and of course, memes. Now that r slash place has come to an end, it's time to reflect on what makes it such an important social experiment. Reddit first unveiled the collaborative canvas on April 1st, 2017, running for three days as part of their April Fool's Day event. In its first iteration, Redditors were given a blank 1000 by 1000 pixel canvas and told, individually, you can create something. Together, you can create something more. Redditors did exactly that and started teaming up to create the best art they could to represent their communities. Some of the earliest notable images on the canvas were a drawing of Dick Butt, Pepe the Frog, a Mega Man sprite, and the Dark Plagueis the Wise copy pasta, not to mention a number of flags. Notably, Germany invaded France for old time's sake, and the USA claimed the middle of the canvas after a lot of griefing attempts. Many of these pieces were put together by subreddit members and coordinated through apps like Discord. Others created subreddits for the sole purpose of drawing on r slash place, like users of the blue corner, a subreddit dedicated to making the entire bottom right corner of the canvas blue. Of course, none of this was done without a fight. It didn't take long for users to set up bots to automatically fill in their pixels when they were covered. This combined with the efforts of thousands of users dedicated to making their mark on the final canvas resulted in all out war for the most real estate possible. This 2017 iteration resulted in a canvas filled with subreddit names, flags, memes, and other iconic imagery that revealed something new every time you looked at it. The experiment was praised across the web, but increasingly seemed like a one-time thing as the years passed by. But at the end of March 2022, r place announced it would be holding the experiment again on April 1st that year. Some thought it was an April Fool's prank, but sure enough, on April 1st, Redditors were given a brand new canvas to fill. This time, Redditors were prepared. They banded together and immediately started filling the canvas with familiar images, many of which were featured in the 2017 piece. Among these were the OSU logo, Ukrainian flags, a RuneScape connection error message, and of course, the blue corner, again seeking dominance of the bottom right quadrant. To the shock of many, the canvas doubled in size the next day, followed by yet another doubling, resulting in a massive 4,000 by 4,000 pixel area for participants to go crazy with. The event spread far beyond Reddit this time around, most notably to Twitch. Streamers like XQC, Destiny, Miskiff, and Hassan Piker spent hours at a time streaming the r slash place canvas and directing their viewers to coordinates on the board to take their place in internet history. Streamer Destiny used his influence back in 2017 to eliminate the blue corner, setting the stage for streamers to dominate the canvas in 2022. XQC took this to the next level, acting as the general of a massive army of viewers. During the place experiment, the streamer managed to break his viewership record with over 230,000 viewers at one time, becoming one of the most powerful forces on the canvas. At one point, he managed to cover the blue corner with his logo. At another, he covered a massive piece of Star Wars art, which turned many participants in the experiment against him. Then his viewers started drawing massive butts on the canvas, which were quickly censored by admins. If you got on XQC's bad side, your art wasn't going to last long on the canvas. With so many huge subreddits and followings banding together to take all the real estate on the canvas, alliances became a key element in keeping a spot on the board. Some even set up embassy discords where alliance talks took place. Some of these alliances were marked on the canvas with colored hearts between the respective drawings. Some notable collaborations were between the Foxhole game and Gunners communities, Switzerland, Hong Kong, and Star Wars Place, and Anarchy Chess in Ireland, allowing smaller communities to thrive on the board with the help of larger ones. Some Redditors were able to construct a working Rickroll QR code, while Canadians struggled to remember what their flag looked like. This year, the Americans decided to move from the center of the canvas to the coordinates 1776, 1776. That is, after they sorted out how many stars were on the flag. Germany continued the tradition of invading other countries and reminded Canada how to make their flag. And the void returned, this time with some flashing, creepy faces. In the span of four days, 
Art pieces were destroyed and rebuilt multiple times. The OSU logo was completely taken over by a black void for a moment, but was rebuilt making it to the finale. The flag of France, which ended up with the most pixels of anyone, was under constant attack, especially by users trying to draw Hasbulla on top of it. Unfortunately, France was too strong and Hasbulla didn't make it to the end. At one point, the Fortnite community covered the CSGO logo with an Among Us imposter, although they managed to fight it off. Among Us got plenty of love on the final canvas, as one Redditor wrote a script identifying over 1,800 crewmates sprinkled across the board. Many of the biggest memes of the past decade made it to the final canvas, including plenty of Pepe's and Pipo's, Gigachad, Crab Rave, Shuba Duck, Sneed's Feed and Seed, Sus Germa, and Doge representing memers all across the web. In the final hour of the experiment, all colored pixels were disabled, leaving users only with white pixels to use. This didn't stop anyone from drawing. Instead, they covered the canvas in white and returned it to its original state. Reddit admins then submitted a post to the r slash place subreddit saying, maybe the real art was the friends we made along the way. In the aftermath, Redditors and the web at large are still buzzing with excitement. People have developed heat maps highlighting the most contested spots on the map, France's corner reigning supreme. They've recreated the experiment on Minecraft and poured over the time lapses to document every war and alliance. Memes about how quiet the internet seems without the experiment are also flooding the r slash place subreddit as users pray they don't have to wait another five years for a new canvas. This year's iteration of r slash place solidifies the event as one of the most important social experiments in internet history, not only for the art it created, but for successfully bringing the web together in a collaborative and fun way, which is no easy task.